Alright, so when you come to New York, you already know you gotta get that 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 pound of brisket right there. That's salty. What is that? That's salty. That's salty. Oh, but it, it brings out that flavor. It brings out it brings yeah. out the umami. Umami, what's up? Yeah, bro. I've been watching this. I've been watching Food Wars. It's an anime. It's a food anime. Okay. So it's so, yo, it's bomb, so bro. Gonna, with the red hair. With the red hair. He has red hair, right? Yes, yes bro. Yeah. Everybody's they, they chefs. Yep, yeah, bro. Bro, that shit's so intense. Bro. Yo. Do you watch it or you read it? I watch it. I don't read it. Bro. I love he's, that. He's, so he's the reader. He's the reader. Bro. He's so the reader. I'm the watcher. I don't. I don't. <laughs> what, what, what's happening right now? So, Tariko he... just finished the dude that mimics other chefs. He just beat him. He has like, he has like a fork attack, right? Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. California! Oh, that's a sick bag. And you got a water, water bottle. Proof, a water bottle. Good for every terrain. You can pick your um, size shirt. Okay. And whatever game you want. Oh, nice. You already know, PS4 squad. We're here. We're inside. We're excited to, to finally get to stream this. Got the bottle. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. This is sick. What are these? Towels? Towels. Towels, okay. The and then the shirts. The shirt. yeah. They're actually the soft plate team. The, the okay, trainer, word. And they made a special one for Ghost Recon. You can actually find these. You'll see people wearing them in the game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, word. I'm going to have to wear this on stream. Yeah, yeah I don't want to wear medium. I don't, don't want to make it look like I'm trying to look big. XL? Large. There you go. Last large. Gotcha. Uh, I mean, it'll be good. These guys know what they're doing, so it's going to kick all our ass a little bit. So pretty much, I'm going to die. <laughs> body weight, body weight movements. I'll just tell, like, I'd rather, like, lift, like, 800 pounds or something than do my body weight for 100 reps. I just... But you know what? I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm doing it for the team. I'm doing it for the team. I'm doing it for you. Hey, I want to let you guys know that these were modeled after me. All right, in my younger days. Just, just want to let you guys know. Well, the writing, it's been a pretty cool experience, and I think we made a pretty great game. With all of that, it also gives the opportunity to work on this project with some tremendous A-list Hollywood talent. I, I, now, unfortunately, they didn't want to come today, so we got this. <laughs> this guy's name is John. He's, he, he, you, let's see. Maybe in a few years, you might write, you might see some stuff he's done. But, uh, so no, uh, to be fair, like, honestly, it's one of the great experiences we had on this, was working with John. Without someone like John, we probably couldn't have told the story as well. So, uh, you know, we brought him along so we can tell you guys a little bit about experience. Uh, yeah. but look, I, I didn't really know what to expect uh, with, with, with this. And uh, what I found was uh, some unbelievably passionate folks, the people that, that, that make this game. They, they care about it deeply, and uh, I'm uh, uh, pa passion sort of everything for me. I was uh, unbelievably blown away and happy to see that this game's written by combat vets and under the eye and scrutiny of, of, of combat vets. They're, they're the best among us, and not only have they exhibited the, the bravery and the courage to go over and, and, and fight for all the things that we take for granted, uh, that's something I treasure and I cherish. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's an honor to be a part of a, a project that valued authenticity in the way that this one did. I wanted to, you know, thank you all for coming. Thank John for coming. If you want to take a quick photo with John, now is the time. And then he's going to have to jump out and then we'll dive into the workout. So thanks, everybody. Uh, we just want to give you guys a quick snapshot of what it actually takes to train to be a ghost. And all of that gets built here in the gym, applying yourself through a bunch of different training consistently over time, eating the right food, getting the right amount of rest. Like, I know I sound like Hulk Hogan. If you say your prayers and eat your Wheaties, man, you're going to be, you know, you say your prayers, yeah, eat your Wheaties. Yeah. But it's true, right? And I think that it really pivoted towards building a much more durable uh, force. Like, we've been doing a global war on terror for almost 20 years now. Uh, Emil and I have both been in SF for 15 years, Brian, too. Um, George was a recon marine. You're also a Green Beret. 
And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I just met him today, so I've forgotten his name already. <laughs> yeah. Ma told me I wasn't supposed to say anything mean, but unfortunately that's not my nature. So I'm gonna, it's, it's how I make my small self feel better about all my insecurities. <laughs> so I'll find the thing that you hate about yourself the most, and I'll make fun of it until you, like, let go of it. Like therapy, but better. I'm going to pass this to George to talk about what we're going to do today. Um, there's only six of us right now, right? There's only six of you, so it's actually going to be really intimate. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Perfect. All right. This will, this will be horrible. Yeah. So, a couple questions. Who here is used to just functional movements in general, right? Kettlebell swings, box jump overs, burpees, and burpees to a plate simple. You guys are going to do a burpee to a plate just to show that you guys are actually jumping. Is if you're going to follow the leader. Okay, and, and I'm going to break all that stuff down here in a minute, but the three key points that I want to talk about that we carry over into the soft community as a, we can even think about it as a ghost, right, is we're looking for transferability, durability, and longevity. All right, so the cool thing about that and the reason why we say that is if you're playing the video game, what you end up seeing and what happens is you, they get put through multiple different high stress experiences and you're expected to recover from it and then do it again multiple times. It's the same exact thing as we look at when we work out. You come in, you work out, and you have to recover, and you want to go back into it. We are just doing this at a higher stress environment, right? So one thing that we brought here for you guys today is to understand how do we blend our programming, all right, into these three key points. This is something you see over here at Softly is transferability, durability, and longevity. And the reason
the two teams was completely different. One team had very good communication, the other team had horrible communication. All right, and we go in and look at that, we, you know, in terms of those things, it's communication. <laughs> You're so flexible. This nigga come in here dressed like this, he's like, damn, I feel like working out. He sees some bars. I feel like working out. You got condoms in your pocket? Word. That's not a condom, Papa. <laughs> My life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business.